Okay, x is an integer greater than 1. So x is greater than 1. Okay, and it's an integer. Important. We should put that there too. Now, quantity a is 3 to the x plus 1, and quantity b is 4 to the x. Okay, so let's see. What do we do? We can't say x is 1, but we can definitely say x is 2. So if x is 2, we can plug in to each side. And the reason we're plugging in here is really we don't have anything else to go on. Don't try to simplify this down here. You can try to compare it to that. It doesn't work. So we're going to set up a little grid here that will help us determine the values of a and b. So when x is equal to 2, which is the lowest integer it could be, what do we get here for column a? Well, 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 cubed is 27. When x is 2 over here, plugging that in, we get 16. So right now, ding, 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 a is bigger. So let's try another integer, 3. We plug 3 back in here, we get 3 to the fourth, which is equal to 81. And if you wonder how I do that so quickly, well, 3 squared is what? 9. 9 squared is the same as 81, same as 3 to the fourth. So now we plug this 3 in over here, and we get 64. So at this point, most people say, hey, look, a is bigger, end of story. If you get this math problem, the specific problem or problem around this difficulty, usually it will be in the harder section. So you want to watch out for traps. One thing I noticed right here is that 16 and 27, well, 27 is almost twice 16, which would be 32. But suddenly 64 is catching up to 81. 81 is far from twice 64. They're almost the same. So around number 4, that is when I plug in the number 4, very likely that B will catch up. Depending on how much time you have, though, test that intuition, and let's do that here. We now have 3 to the 5th, or 81 times 3, which is 243, and we multiply up here 4 to the 4th, which is the same as 16 squared, because 4, 4 squared is 16, and that's 256, and just like that, it changes, so the answer is D.